Hello. The topic of today's laboratory work is the study of the surface tension of liquids. The objective of our work is to identify the surface tension factor of liquids by the ring method. The second objective is to study the concentration dependence of the surface tension coefficient with the help of the capillary rise method. Surface tension is a physical phenomenon that lies in the tendency of a liquid to reduce its surface area with a constant volume. It is characterized by a surface tension factor. The surface tension coefficient depends on the nature and the temperature of a liquid. It reduces when the temperature rises and does not depend either on the size or on the form of the liquid's free surface. There are multiple methods to identify the surface tension. The drop method, the ring method, the capillary rise method, the Rabindus method. Today we familiarize ourselves with two methods, the ring method and the capillary method. First, we look at the ring method. The method consists in measuring the pull of force of a thin ring from a free surface of the liquid with the help of a torsion balance. The surface tension factor generally equals the force of the surface tension divided over the length of the ring. The force of the surface tension is identified as the difference between the externally exerted force and the weight of the ring. The length of the ring is measured as pi times the sum of the internal and external diameter of the ring. However, since the ring is thin, we neglect the difference between the external and the internal diameter. Therefore, our final formula is 2 times pi times d. In our laboratory work, we use a torsion balance, a moving platform, and a vessel with a steady liquid. The device is made up of a beam with a ring affixed to it, a dial with a scale, a starting pointer, a handle, and a reference pointer with a reference mark that identifies the equilibrium of the balance. With the help of a caliper, we measure the diameter of the thin ring. The diameter is 7.2 mm. The unit value of the caliper is 0.05 mm. Next, we measure the weight of the ring with the help of the torsion balance. In order to do that, by slowly moving the handle in the counterclockwise direction, we align the reference pointer with the reference mark on the dial. Next, we record the reading of the starting pointer, which comprises 20 mg. After that, we place the cup with the steady liquid on the moving platform. Slowly turning the screw, we dip the ring into the liquid. Next, we slowly lower the platform until the moment a so-called surface overstretching is reached. Mm -hmm. With the help of the balance, we slowly change the exerted force and record the moment of pull-off of the ring from the liquid surface. We repeat the measurements three times and then tabulate the results. We measure the surface tension factor with the help of the following formula. Sigma equals F minus Q over 2 pi D times G, where F is the pull of force of the ring, Q is the weight of the ring, D is the diameter of the ring, and G is the acceleration of gravity. The second method for measuring the surface tension is the capillary rise method. A capillary with a small internal diameter is dipped into a wetting liquid and after that the height of the liquid rise in the capillary is measured. Therefore, the surface tension factor is measured according to the formula sigma equals 1 over 2 times rho times g times h times r where rho is the density of the liquid, g is the acceleration of gravity, h is the height of the capillary rise, and 
R is the capillary radius. Now let us move on to the second method for identifying the surface tension factor for a liquid. We use a capillary with a known radius which equals 0.75 mm. First, we vertically dip the capillary into a tube with a steady liquid, in this case water, and identify the height of the liquid column over the surface in the tube. For this purpose, we multiply the value of units over the number of the graduation marks in the liquid's column, which is higher than the meniscus. In our case, the number of the graduation marks is 15, and the value of units is 1.06 mm. We repeat the measurements for the remaining three solutions. We identify the surface tension factor for all the liquids using the following formula. Sigma equals 1 over 2 times rho times g times h times r, where rho is the density of the liquid, g is the acceleration of gravity, h is the height of the capillary rise, and r is the radius of the capillary. Finally, we calculate the measurement errors and draw the conclusions. Good luck!